A gate made of branches that seem to float. A snowball fight that looks like a snapshot captured in space and time. These artworks, which appear weightless, are held together with strings and wires. Cornelia Conrads has just finished her latest project. It's called Bowl. The installation is in montauban Buzenor in southern Belgium, and it's now on permanent exhibition there. Conrads has placed her bowl in the middle of a lake. An internal metal framework supports the work. The oversized bowl is two and a half meters tall and just under six meters wide. That's not unusual for Conrads. I like to skew dimensions, to put something out there that's so oversized that you suddenly feel tiny, or that shifts our view of what's large or small. Before creating an object like the bowl in the lake, the artist retreats to her studio in Bad Münde in northern Germany. Here she builds small-scale models of her installations, focusing on practical considerations. First, I have to try out a lot of technical aspects to see if it will hold up outside to water, wind and weather. And with such a major work, I like to test all the possibilities until I know I've found exactly the right material. In addition to large installations, Cornelia Konrads also makes smaller pieces. Konrads originally studied philosophy. Then in the late 1990s, she decided to switch to the visual arts full time. In her book objects, she grapples with her academic past. I'm still fascinated by philosophy. I'm interested in it, but it's always limited to speech. That's one reason why at some point art took over and became more interesting for me. Konrad's dislikes having the pastoral sounding term land art applied to her work. But it's the sculptures in the countryside that brought her international success. They can be seen all over the world. I've noticed that installations that really have to do with a place, that were conceived for a particular place, are attracting greater interest. Maybe because they make people deal with their own surroundings in a different way. For her project Bowl, Conrad's had to make a series of precise calculations to ensure that everything would fit on site and she would have enough material. Alain Schmitz, who brought the artist and her project to Belgium for his exhibition, followed the ups and downs of the creative process firsthand. Cornelia really hasn't had it easy. Bowl is a very special artwork in unusual surroundings, in the water. Turning the idea into a reality was quite an adventure, and I don't mean just an artistic adventure, but a personal one. Conrad's prefers to call her work site-specific art. She wants her installations to look like an organic part of the landscape, but still surprise the viewer. When you pass by my work, you might miss it completely. I want my works to merge with their surroundings, as if they belonged there. When you suddenly see my work, you might not know what it is or where it comes from. Whether it's permanent or whether it's about to disappear. Her bowl is now in southern Belgium, and that's where it will remain. Because, as Cornelia Conrad says, it's found a home there. <laughs>